and it's finally done. The kitchen has had a complete restyle. Let's go back and see what I did. So first of all, I took all the cupboard doors off. I had no idea at the time how bad they were. They really needed a good clean, a good sand, and a new lick of paint. So I lined them all up at the deck and I got ready to start. This was how it looked when it was on the kitchen. Everything was cream, even the walls were cream before I started painting them grey. It was just all a little bit dated. Even the windows, the teak windows looked dated. So I started painting everything in antique white. There's our teak windows and you can see how we went from cream to grey. Much more neutral, warm colour. The teak windows went also. And as I started painting the kitchen, I realised how beautiful that grey was and how much more modern it was and how it went with the walnut countertop. This is Louise, our children's au pair. I roped her into helping me for the week. Oh, she was amazing. She'd never picked up a paintbrush before. And she absolutely loved it. We chatted and we laughed for the full five days. And we really enjoyed it, I have to say. She slept well though, for the last few days. She was tired. I showed you over the daily vlog how I painted the kitchen cupboards, how I cleaned them, how I sanded them, sanded them. And that was the easy part actually. Especially when I had the cordless uh, drill with the screwdriver bit, that made it easy to get the kitchen cupboards on and off. So we chose this colour scheme. It was an antique white, a deep grey and a very pale blue which we put on the kitchen table. The kitchen cupboards turned out so well. I'm thrilled with them. We painted the upper part in the antique white and it just gave a designer modern look to a dated old kitchen. The tiles were my favourite bit couldn't believe I turned those horrible yellow old tiles into the most beautiful antique white tiles to match all the kitchen cupboards on the top. Also one of my favourite bits was the radiators, the old yellowy white radiators. I spray painted them in a chrome. They look fantastic. A very inexpensive clock from a local DIY store. Then we went on and we made sure the walls were the beautiful grey, the, all the teak windows were painted in antique white. The linen cupboard that was green, I painted it in a pale grey and an antique white. Just suited the room so much more, neutralised everything. And you can see the, t the blue table there. The whole thing just turned out so well, I cannot tell you. If you've enjoyed this and the daily vlogs, Please like and subscribe to shabby.ie